Hi, today we're going to make some king prawns and noodles. Very easy to make, but extremely tasty. For this you just need salt and pepper, chicken stock, uh, or it can be any type of stock. It can be vegetable, it can be beef. Uh, white wine, olive oil, crushed chilies, baby capers, uh, lemon, pasta, garlic, basil, cherry tomatoes, shallots and king prawns. So we're going to start by just putting two pots onto the stove. Um, you want to put your pasta pot on first, get the water going so it gets up to the bowl. The second pan we're going to use to start creating our sauce. Place in a load of olive oil, put some olive oil into the pasta dish as well. Whilst it's all warming up, start prepping your shallots. You just want to slice and dice them. We're really going to try and caramelize the slots. Once you've cut all, all the shallots, put it into the pan. The pan should be nice and hot. And just start mixing them. Season them lightly with a little bit of salt and pepper. give them a good mix just keep mixing them try and do it off the flame rather than stirring it uh, add a little bit more olive oil if need be I like a lot of olive oil so I do tend to put quite a bit in try using olive oil rather than sunflower for this uh, olive oil is much nicer for when you're cooking uh, this sort of stuff you get a much better flavor take some garlic just grate the garlic all over Obviously the garlic's already been peeled and prepared, so just, just rub it straight in. Take your knife, just get the remainder of the garlic, put it in. That really helps to caramelize the shallots. And uh, just scrape off all the bits you can. Give it a really good mix. Watch your temperatures, because you don't want it to overcook. So just keep an eye on your flame. I am using gas, so it's a little bit easier to control to, to electric. But please keep an eye on your flames and keep taking it off and keep mixing as much as you can. Then we're going to move on to our cherry tomatoes. I want you to slice them up um, into nice little pieces. And we're going to add those into our dish. And it will help to, once again, ca caramelize the whole dish. Keep it really the sauce. But we're trying to get that really nice flavor, really nice sauce. So once again, keep mixing. Um, this is a very quick dish so you do need to keep watching what you're doing. Add a little bit of salt and pepper, so you add in a little bit of chilli flakes. I think it just gives it that little bit extra flavour. You don't need to do that, especially if you're cooking it with children or anything. Um, but that's just my preference. Keep mixing. Uh, like I said, keep taking it off the stove, back on the stove. And then just add a little bit of white wine. It's up to you if you don't drink. You don't have to have the white wine, so it just gives that extra flavour. And what we're really trying to achieve here is to caramelise the, uh, the sauce down, or you know, and it will taste so much nicer. Then you take your vegetable stock, add literally a tablespoon, and once again keep mixing that. As you see, it will come to a nice simmer. Just leave it on the stove to, to, to carry on. Whilst it's simmering, take your basil, cut that up nice and fine. I find if you roll the basil all, in, all together, it makes it a lot quicker and easier to chop it. Take your sauce off the stove, place your basil in, and we're basically just going to let that sit and rest. Then going to take our capers. A nice little handful in there, uh, normally about three or four pinches. Once the capers are all in, once again, give it a nice little mix. And just leave it on the side. We're going to now take a new pan. This pan is actually going to be for our king prawns. So add an olive oil, a little bit of olive oil again into the pasta. Then let's take our pasta and start putting that in. The water should be more than hot enough now. 
So take your pasta out, place the amount you need in, and just literally let it melt down, soften down, stir it. And if you need be, add a little bit more salt and pep, and maybe a little bit more olive oil if you need to. In the meantime, we're going to now take our prawns and we're going to prepare them to put actually onto the stove um, which the pan is, is nice and hot. Give the prawns a little bit of salt and pepper again. It's always nice to keep them nice and seasoned and then just drop them in. As I always say for all my videos, please make sure you wash your hands in between each, uh, each hand of the food. Once your prawns are starting to brown, Take it off, turn them over. Prawns will cook very quickly, so they need about four minutes per side. Uh, so keep an eye on them, don't leave them on the stove for too long. Sometimes it's actually best to turn them over, leave them off the stove, and then put them back in. Then just give them a nice squeeze of lemon. We're then going to put our sauce back on the stove, add the prawns, just get all those lovely juices, the lemon, everything in there. Give that a little mix. Remember, it's already cooked, so we don't want it on there for too long. We're going to then drain our pasta, add a little bit more olive oil. I always put the pasta back into the pan. Then, give it a good mix up, then add it to your sauce. Once everything is in there, the pasta, the prawns, your original sauce, give it a really good mix around. And then we're almost ready to start plating up. So on the plate up, I always put pasta in first. It makes it look nice. Try and make it look good if you're serving up for, for someone. If you're doing it for yourself, you can just throw it all in, I guess. But it's nice to, you know, if you made an effort to cook, why not make it look nice? And then just grate over a little bit of lemon zest. Really makes it taste look lovely. Then once you've done the lemon zest, I always sprinkle it off with a little bit of parmesan. I think that really adds a nice bit of flavour to it. Use grated parmesan if you want. And this is the end look. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, good luck with the meal.